Alright, so we're back here with Scar the Doll. Yesterday we had a pretty brief episode. Sorry, one second. And, um... Today... We've been through this before. Yeah. See that? I don't... What do we search? Like, probably one of these is gonna lead to death, but... Of course, they're not gonna tell us which one. There's no, like... Logical way of picking one, right? Based on this, let's go to the admin office. Oh, sorry, I want to search the admin office first. Okay. I'll call the chief of the ministry. <coughs> what is happening with your voice? I'll call the chief administrator away on some errand then. I'll make something up about the police investigation and keep her busy. Anyway, after you see the chief administrator leaving, go in using my ID card. Okay, I'll make sure to search the office as quickly as I can. After a while, the chief administrator emerges through the lab entrance. Hurrying down the stairs, she disappears outside. Looks like Yumina did a good job with this phone call. I open the lab entrance with Yumina's ID card. For security reasons, no one can enter without an ID card in the evening. Once inside, I make for the, admin for the admin office. As expected, the door is unlocked. Taking a deep breath, I enter. I don't have much time. I have to search quickly. Where should I look? Is it just going to be a guessing game you only get the luck brown place? I don't know. Desk drawer. Who cares? I find a strange note. Until we find who's pulling the girl's strings, leave her be for the time being. That's obviously me, right? But if, but if the chance should arise to take care of her quietly, I will take it. What does this mean? They're going to kill you, girl. This says I expected this office is hiding a secret. I don't know why I said girl like that. That just came out. Not yet. I'm not giving up. Okay. Evening. I have been looking for evidence which proves my sister's existence. My sister certainly exists. I have so many memories of her. Uh, they're probably doing like memory implanting or something at this lab. Sis. I still have so many precious... That's right, I still have it. The teddy bear my sister gave me as a Christmas present. That's right, that's, that is something. My sister must be somewhere around here. I'll find her and prove it to everyone. I have to hurry. Filing cabinet. I find a document screwed up into a ball. Very weird way of phrasing it. This year's winter holiday will begin on December 19th. Under no circumstances may staff members report for work from the 19th onwards. From the 19th, the staff are forbidden from working? I guess that's why there's no faculty members here. But this is really strange. I have to hurry. Cupboard. I carefully look over and under everything. I can't find anything. There's a large vase containing seasonal flowers. I'll search the vase. Why not? But there's nothing in there. Love to see it. This is no good. It's taking too long. Somebody is coming. I can hear footsteps walking down the deserted corridor. And we get caught and game over, right? Clip clop, clip clop. It's a horse. Is there going to be a jump scare? The sound gets louder and louder. Someone is coming. Peta, the horse is here. Who is it? Oh, you're so stupid. Why would you call out to them? What are you doing? Before I realize it, the intruder has stabbed me with a dagger. Yeah. Sis. Uh, I can only call it to my sister as the blood puddle around me grows. Game over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't explore everything enough. I, I know. Continue. 
Nerman's office first. All. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the sofa something? It won't let me go down from here. With the arrows, which is weird. I had to click it with my mouse. I search every inch of the sofa. Is there gonna be nothing? You can't find anything important. Looking at the long sofa, I'm suddenly struck by a very odd thought. A human body would fit perfectly inside it. Search inside the sofa. I mean, we've already looked everywhere else, so we gotta... I, I find some scissors nearby and use them to tear the sofa and rip out the stuffing. Despite my despite my premonition, however, nothing is there. I don't have much time. Uh, we can look desk drawer. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what's up with this scene. Phone cabinet. I mean, I'm guessing I um. So if you search the cupboard it ends, I'm gonna mess with the dimensions a little bit. Yeah, there's nothing else, so you just suck here until you look at the cupboard and nothing happens, and then the horse, and you die. Cool. Is it you gotta search the other place, you know? Okay. Search the professor's office. After a while, Maiko Mitsukoshi, the secretary, emerges through the lab entrance. Looks like Yumina did a good job with his phone call. I open the lab entrance with Yumina's ID card. For some security reasons, no one can enter without an ID card in the evening. We've read this. Once inside, I make for the professor's room. As expected, the door is unlocked. Taking a deep breath, I enter. I don't have much time. I have to search quickly. Where should I look? Hat? Alright, we'll go in order again. That's, there's no reason to do anything else. Desk drawers. Whoops. Professor Miz Mikozuka's desk has a total of three drawers. Why did my mic just peek? Oh god, why are you doing this to me? Open the top drawer. The draw is full of stationery. Nothing stands out. I'm wasting my time. You sure are. Bottom drawer is locked. It just tells me that. I must find the key. What about the middle drawer? Nothing. And we need the key. It's in the hat, but we'll keep looking. Side of the desk. What is this? A small wooden bookshelf is attached to the side of the desk. Letters have been carved on it. Asumi. Why? Why is my name carved here? That is good, I like that. Like as a plot twist, I don't like it as an event. The letters carved with some kind of knife clearly say my name, Asumi. The letters have been carved harshly and aggressively. I sense hatred and sadness. I don't know why, but the letters of my name are filled with a sense of horror. I mean, I you got a good reason to not like that, right? Not yet, I won't give up. Let me adjust the mic one sec. Hopefully that doesn't like show up on the audio. Hopefully I remember to edit that out. If not, I'm sorry. December 20th evening. I've been looking for evidence which proves my sister's existence. My sister certainly exists. I have so many memories of her. Sis. I still have so many precious- yeah, this is the same. Bookshelf, is that gonna get me killed? Oh god, first of all, the bookshelf. I take the books on I want and carefully search inside each of them. There's nothing to be found, these are all just standard research books, whatever that means. Second row. It's, uh, it could be always the last row you check, or there's nothing there. At the far end of the shelf is a book that somehow seems out of place. Noticing from the shelf, 
Removing it from the shelf, I notice there's a hollow in its back cover containing a key. Got small key. It seems too small to be a key to a house or door. It's for the drawer, and my TV just turned off. I have to hurry. Does hat get me killed? I search the hat. There's nothing at all unusual about the hat. Love that. I wonder if I will ever get the chance to meet the hat's owner, Professor Mikozuka. Why? This is no good. It's taking too long. Someone's coming. Pida, the horse is here. I'm doing that joke again, but it's a good joke. I don't care. I get stabbed. Yeah, I know what I went wrong. I just I want to see everything. That's part of the visual novel experience. Yeah, so you gotta know by chance to search the professor's office. Now, I wonder, are they smart? Is it always on the last shelf you look, or is it just always on the third? It's always on the third, that's cool. And then, yeah, we've got this cutscene again for some reason. And then desk drawers. It's always the bottom. It sure is. I put the key I found in the book into the keyhole. It makes a satisfying click and the drawer opens. Unlocking the drawer, I find a pile of documents inside. I search them one by one. All the documents seem important, but none seem to relate to my sister. Hmm? It's hard to notice, but an envelope is attached to the top of the drawer with tape. That's smart. Removing the tape, I take out the envelope. The envelope is sealed. On the front is written, Graduate student resume submitted when enrolled. It seems it must contain the resumes of the students enrolled here in this lab. If my sister were enrolled in this lab, then her resume should be in this envelope somewhere. It is divided into sections by years of enrollment. <laughs> resumes. The first few resumes belong to people I've never heard of. What's strange with the resumes is that no one fills in the section about family members. Does it mean that section isn't compulsory? Or are they all alone, just like Sheena? I don't have much time to think about it now. Read the next resume. Flipping through the resumes, it's going to be her own name? Oh, Sheena's. Fair enough, I come across Sheena's. The picture on his resume is very young. He looks full of hope and optimism. Mr. Sheena. And the resume below that? Is it yours? Oh, I'm cocky as I, I'm trying too hard to predict the game. As I expected, the resume is Kakizaki's uh, second year in the doctorate program. I'm suddenly overcome by a tremendous feeling of anxiety. Until now, I've been absorbed in the search of the room. But now, in an instant, my state of excitement is transformed into nervous anticipation. And here below Kakizaki's is what they call D1 where my sister is supposed to be. I'm trembling with fear. It should be simple to turn the page of the next resume, but I simply can't do it. I'm, I'm genuinely nervous right now myself. I don't know why, I, I get absorbed into the atmosphere of games easily. I, I, I don't know, I, it makes me like it more. My hands are sweating. Everyone in the lab says my sister has never been here. That is a lie. I will prove it now. If I can get my sister's resume and show it to them all, then they will be forced to admit their du duplicity. I don't have much time. Yumino can only do so much. I must move quickly. Maiko Mizukoshi could ba back at any moment. I am stumbling. Read the next resume. I, I want to know. Let's do it. The resume is each says from the first year of the doctorate program. Looking more closely, I see a second resume attached to Ichinose's with a paper clip. Yeah, somebody in the same academic year as Ichinose. Sis. Open the resume. They're really making you work for it, huh? Ooh, what's going on? It's you, isn't it? Asumi Kamijo. You betcha. Born Christmas Eve, 1984. 
1984 match, eh? I thought there's a joke there, I can't make it. Is this mine? It is, you are your own sister. This is my picture, my birthday, my name, my resume, but my sister. The sister who I've been looking for. The sister who is supposed to be here in the lab. Everybody says she doesn't exist. But I found the resume of another D1 student after all. And the resume is mine. My sister is me. My sister who is supposed to be in the first year of the doctorate program in this lab is me. It says Asumi Kamijo. Is this someone's idea of a joke? I feel sick. What is going on? Alright, now get out before you get caught. Somebody help me. Yumino, Yumino, come back. It's all over. Please tell me. Maiko, you've been hiding something. Somebody is coming? Yeah, yeah. I can hear footsteps walking down the deserted corridor. Clip, clop, clip, clop. Peter the horse is here. I don't like this. A sound gets louder and louder. Somebody is coming. The footsteps stop. Suddenly, the door opens. You're just going to confront them now with confidence? And through the door emerges Yumino. Oh. The blade in Maiko's hand is about to enter my body. I like they have a portrait for it. And I, as I lose consciousness, I feel like I can hear a gunshot. Yeah. Oh, did Yumino shoot her? I watch as Maiko falls to the ground beside me. I feel as if I have been saved. December 21st. Um... You know what? I am gonna save- I'm gonna leave you guys on a cliffhanger, but I'm just gonna go ahead and record a double episode, cause I gotta... I wanna know how this ends. Like, I saw all this kind of coming. I mean, yeah, I've been trying maybe a bit too hard when I see to predict this, but, you know. This is good. I, we're gonna... You guys are gonna see where it ends, uh, next in two days, I guess, uh, what I like to call tomorrow. But I'm gonna see this in a few seconds. See you guys in a minute.